The XYZ CT65 used to only be able to handle components up to this length. It can now do them up to 510 millimeters. Yeah, we had the CT65 and the CT52 for quite a while. Probably sold three or 400 machines over the years. And at a sales meeting last year, we got, we got talking about what might improve the machine and one of the things they said was to improve the distance between centres, so that's what this machine is. Okay, now at the, at the opening to this video I presented the two different bar lengths. Essentially that's what we've got here, isn't it? A turning centre that can turn longer, longer parts. Yeah, that's what we've got. It's a box weigh machine, that, like the CT65 was, that we're still going to offer for people doing bar work, but those who want to do longer jobs, there's now the CT65 HD. And the HD refu refers to heavy duty and, and the box way, but it's just a way of us differentiating in the future if someone had a, a, wanted a spare part. Now, does the machine get much bigger as a result of having this additional bar length as well? Because people no, are always looking no, at footprints. No, it doesn't. It's, it, the, the increase is about 260 millimetres and that's what the distance between centres is as well, an extra 260 millimetres. And it's to note, be, beyond that then, the actual CT65 as well, you've got a nice touch screen control there from, from Siemens. Are these new developments over recent years as well? Yeah, they are, but we've been selling the, C, the uh, touch screen machine for well over a year now. Okay, and then the actual machine itself, this is a straight turning centre. Do you do them with the addition of the, the milling function as well? Yeah, this machine is available with a live tool option, um, the LTY we call that, and um, it's the same base as this exactly, um, to, make, to make it take less time to, to produce. And is the machine much heavier as well then, Nigel? Yeah, it's 700 kilos heavier. Wow, that's, that's a big difference. So would, would you say then that, that that makes this offering much more rigid as well as the, is the more operations you can maybe do with this machine that you might be able, not be able to do on lightweight uh, models? Well, we, we can do polygon turning on all of our range of heavy duty machines and the CT65 and, you know, polygon turning so we can turn a round bar into a square bar or a hexagon bar. Now, you can't do that with a linear rail machine, I don't believe. Uh, so it's a much more rigid with being box way and the extra weight obviously means more rigidity. Uh, one of the things I always find with, with yourselves here at XYZ is if you encounter an issue in the field in terms of your salesman, as you uh, said at the start of this, think there's a model where they miss out, you do develop it and that's what's happened here. So have you found that you've lost business or a lot of business to companies that have wanted this additional turn in length? We, we haven't lost what I call a lot of business, but we certainly have lost some business where the customer has rejected us because the distance between centres wasn't enough. And you say, well, why don't you buy our 320? And he says, no, I don't want to pay the extra money for the big, for the big machine when I'm only doing 25, 35, 65 mil bar. So if you're looking to turn parts up to 510 millimetres in length, the new CT65 HD from XYZ can handle them perfectly.